New at 5.30, eye-opening new information tonight about the effects of the coronavirus pandemic on our children. A new report from UNICEF shows they're suffering from serious mental health issues, and the agency says governments around the world need to do more to help out. Here's CBS 4's Maribel Rodriguez. So when you get your book, you're in. Class is back in session for millions of kids around the world, and the United Nations Children's Fund says there is a crucial lesson to be learned from COVID. To prioritize mental health because investing in mental health can be life saving for individuals and for our children. A new report from UNICEF says disruption to education, recreation, and routines is leaving many young people feeling afraid, angry, and concerned for their future. Psychiatrists report a rise in cases of anxiety, eating disorders, and suicidal thoughts. 47,000 adolescents. Uh, are dying from suicide every year, and that is a staggering number. UNICEF says globally only about 2% of government's health budgets go towards mental health. That's less than a dollar per person in some of the poorest nations. We are calling for policies within schools that protect and address mental health issues amongst children and adolescents. The pandemic prompted France to offer free therapy sessions for children. England set up a 24-7 crisis hotline that have received more than 3 million calls since lockdown began. UNICEF says it may take years to expose the pandemic's full mental health impact on young people. And pediatric psychiatrists say they were already short of resources before the pandemic brought a surge in caseloads. Maribel Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.